The next-gen version of Witcher 3 Wild Hunt finally drops tomorrow, Wednesday the 14th. And if you're looking to collect some of the new content introduced with the next-gen update, specifically the new armor sets added to the game, then look no further than this video. Now, attaining the new armor sets isn't very difficult, but the problem lies in finding them. First of all, the two so-called beginner sets, that being the Thousand Flower set and the White Tiger of the West set, these you can find just after Geralt's first conversation with the Emperor in Vizima during the beginning hours of the game. Or you could simply just go back to Vizima at any point in your playthrough if you've already finished this part. There will be a letter waiting for you in Geralt's room where Yennefer gives you clues on where to find the chest. But to make things easy for you, you simply go over to Yennefer's room where you'll find a chest beneath a bedroom window, containing both armor sets together with the new weapons. The Thousand Flower set is equipable at level 7, and the White Tiger set is usable at level 11. Now, finally, for the best armor set introduced in this update, that being the studded black armor set and the two new swords, you'll start your journey obtaining this set by first going to Velen. I'd suggest fast traveling to the Hanged Man's Tree as it's very easy to find your way from there. No matter where you are in Velen, you need to go to this waypoint right here outside of this mine. And this is where you'll find the new quest giver, who's a priest of the Eternal Fire. Now the quest he gives you doesn't take very long to complete, but I'd recommend at least being level 20 when doing this or you may find it difficult. At the end of the quest line, you'll be rewarded with schematics for your new armor set called the Forgotten Wolven set, together with schematics for both a new steel sword and silver sword respectively, which you'll be able to equip at level 20. Of course, this gear can be upgraded, but as I don't want to spoil the quest itself for you as it is pretty cool, you'll know at the end of the quest how to upgrade it fully. Also, as far as I know, there are no additional armor sets after these. But then again, I don't have any detailed patch notes, so it's possible that there are more armor sets, but in that case I just haven't found them yet. And that's it for today. Thank you for watching, and have a great day.